Now that we've discussed transposes and matrix inverses, let's bring them together and see what the inverse of a transpose matrix is. Links in the description to my lessons introducing the relevant topics if you need a review. Here's what we're going to prove today. If A is an invertible matrix, then its transpose is also invertible, and the inverse of the transpose is actually just the transpose of the inverse. So A transpose inverse equals A inverse transpose. It is a really short proof. Here's just a quick example to look at before we go through the proof. Here's a matrix A. Here is its inverse, which you could quickly calculate or verify yourself. Here is the transpose of A by interchanging the rows and columns. And now we're claiming that the inverse of A transpose is just the transpose of A inverse. So by interchanging the rows and columns of A inverse, we get A inverse transpose, which is this here. Now we can take A transpose on the left and multiply it by what we're claiming the inverse is, which is A inverse transpose, multiply it by that, and you can see this multiplication does give us the identity. You can see that it actually does work. You could try multiplying these in the other direction if you want. That will also give us the identity. So that's this property in action. Let's get into the proof. To prove the result, we're going to show that A transpose times our claimed inverse, which is A inverse transpose, is equal to the multiplication in the other order, and they're both equal to the identity. So it doesn't matter what order you multiply them in, you're going to get the identity matrix. To complete this proof, we're really just going to need one important property of the transpose, which is that AB transpose, the transpose of a product of matrices, is B transpose times A transpose, the product of the transposes, just in the reverse order. That's pretty much going to take us through this whole proof. All right, here we go. We know that A transpose times A inverse transpose by this property that we just went over, and link in the description to my more thorough lesson introducing this property. But by this property, we know that this product of transposes is just the transpose of the product, but with the order switched. But then A inverse A, this product here by definition of an inverse matrix, is just the identity. So this transpose is the identity transpose, but the transpose of an identity matrix is just the identity matrix. So in trying to show that A inverse transpose is the inverse of A transpose, we're halfway done. We've shown that if you multiply them in this order, you get the identity. Now it's very straightforward to show that if you multiply them in the other order, you also get the identity. If we put A inverse transpose on the left, then we could apply the same property and again find that this product equals the identity. So if you take A transpose and multiply it by A inverse transpose, doesn't matter what order you multiply them in, they are equal, and they're both equal to the identity. Thus, by definition, the inverse of the transpose is the transpose of the inverse, and this verifies that. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my linear algebra playlist for more. Link in the description. Get it even